Hello, good evening. Welcome to our second assignment of the year. The Garissa Market Junction is not a bizarre name among the residents living in Garissa Wajia Highway. The junction has claimed lots of innocent motorists as well as pedestrians due to frequent road accidents. According to residents, an estimated over 18 deaths have been reported since 2009 and a big number of injuries. Just weeks ago, a 12-year-old lady died instantly after a speedy border border rider knocked her down, joining the long list of young and a vibrant lives that were lost at the junction years before. Police have blamed reckless driving as well as motorists and drivers are being under the influence of drugs as a result of the numerous accidents. Residents on the other hand have blamed the government on being reluctant on addressing the issue, especially in expanding the road, which they say that it is too narrow. As the blame game continues, one fact remains clear, that the lives are being lost and that Garissa is losing a vibrant middle-class workforce. Breadwinners have also lost their lives at this spot, leaving their families in economic turmoil. With no one to turn to, kids have had to drop out of schools as a result of their sole source of school fees perishing on a road accident. On assignment, crew visited 18 families that most of them lost their family members, mothers who lost their children, victims of the junction who are still under serious medical attention. With fractured hands, others waiting to be amputated. Tonight, we bring you the first part of Garissa's Junctions of Death. The loss of a child is the most painful loss that humans can sustain. It's a sentiment which many parents like Halima Bashir Isaac can recount. The pain of losing her daughter and the devastating grief struck her mind like a thunderstorm. <laughs> Right here at the junction, this is the same place at the juncture that currently I'm standing, that the tall of year old daughter lost her life. The moment she remembers the horrific evening she lost her tall of year old daughter. While crossing the road after was struck by a speedy border border rider who was diving the junction. She said while everything happens by the will of God. She blames the poor and the lack of safety bumps along the highway and the junction for the increased number of accidents that have caused the lives of many people from the area. For her, since the day she lost her daughter in that ghastly accident, recalling the incident she said it's like a black veil dropped in front of her eyes and as well since then affected her health. Hatuta fumulia na hatuta kubali zaidi ya hapo watu wakufe kwa hii barabara Hii inaonekana viongozi wetu hawa kujishuklisha kwa hii hali Just at the center of Garissa's livestock market We've met Abdi Abdullah Ibrahim selling her small groceries she lost her eldest son at the injection, days after he completed his KCC exam. She recounts how one devastating and dreadful accident that took the life of her son, who had a promising future to join his university, hours before a speedy PSV battle to hit him while crossing the road. He died while on his way to hospital. <laughs> مركا وحوها يلمع فوق فوق إيه 
ورغد مكو سوى غاري كو ديغلاميك وو دنتاي مولي غاد ديكي كسد حاي أنا هوا سعود كي كسد حاي انتا هادا عوارنا كماهينا نا مرها وغول ما كو قرصة دي إلمه بوينا اتال هون حارستو وحي لاي ورطن هايستان مرها وحي سوى ساعدين مرها وحا بولا حتى إلا مرها لا ميكو كولي وحا تا ديكي ساقيس أنا ولا كان مرها مرك إلمه بوينا عوانا وحاي هادا الله هون حارستو وقع دين تاسن لي Abdiya, she is among the several other parents living along the highway who are particularly devastated when their children died in the 1820s. Today, junctions of death in Garissa, as many residents came to name it, may have developed into a busy upper night suburb of an ever-growing city of Garissa. Rare end collisions are the most common and car crash report shows drivers are often going too fast or simply are not paying attention to traffic rules. Hardest hit are those whose crippling and painful injuries are not covered by any medical insurance. We've met Mohamed Odowa Ado, who is among those whose lives have been irreversibly shattered by physical and financial pain. Mohamed Odowa, from three students, is another victim of the junction. 12 of August 2016 was a turning point that ended his education. He has been confined at his compound as he nurses a fracture on his hand. Circumstances of his accident quite a sensitive topic. He was supposed to do and proceed his Form 3 exams, but that dream was so changed after speedy and overdriving PSV Matatu hit him, and later on the driver of the Matatu escaped, leaving Muhammad paralyzed and laying in a pool of blood. He was under intensive care unit for a month, leaving the burden of his medical bill to his family. Muhammad told me how he lost four of his family members at the junction previously making him the fifth person whose blood stain still reflects the image of the junction. Marke had Tarata Agasta to Olof Yan Lakulmi this injury, this problem. Marka Mesha Spital can win a me spital a garrison at this young Anos or young Osage Ugono Ugari would die. I mean Galab Marke had Tarako Ton Sa or Garbino Garmita to a كريم تتوجع وجود عاي مركو وجود عاي وجعر يموت استاذ وجود عاي يموت استاذ وجعر واحد سأهد لمبركيس نبى بي بي هذا وقتي جاري أسوق شيء عره هاي لمبركيس على سقرط إسبتال كالي جي إسبتال كوالي جي وعلى كابي واحد هن أنا كا مكابي كرنا لكن ده نروب وانت أقوى عن النادي صدع عوان إسبتال كوينيا أنت دان إهلي ده أنت هادك وحكون نقطة جد كان جدي زك وحاوي أفرق كل ما تأفرق أنا أنا هاد إهلي ده تكمل إهلي هلا ومبله أفرق أنا إهلي ده كل ما شنا وعدا أنا أنت إهلي ده كل أو هاد وعدا حاوي نافقه وحاوي أنقب سنكري أيكو أن دع وحلاق بسنكري يا هاد وأسك قدر على إله وكيني لكن وحلاق بسنلاقين لبسو جاري أو جاري حجيس أو إما ذي وحلاق بسنلاقين أنت هذا أنا جهت أنت جيفي أنت جيفي حكي سعد وحكون قطعي وإلى إلى مشي هذا هذا دار هو ردم بس أو عمر الشمبر بس اللي هو جو جبر طبعا جرت يا الوحى ولا برت أنا الوحى ولا هذا مشي هذا وملك لما أهب حسين عبد الله هذا يوس شيمان أوف غاريسا ماركت فيفيل ريمبرز ذات فيتفول داي ويف سبنت ويل أوفر ون أن أور سباندينغ أت بلاستن كروزس إن أوردر تو جيت أ كلي أن أ سيفت رود سايد إنترفيو ذات ووز فيري هارد فور أس Surely there is no, there is no any sign totally, even the bombs and also any sh any sign that showing if there is a highway here. Uh, there is a lot of uh, schools here, high schools and primary around this highway. At the same time, we lost especially a great people here, and uh, we made demonstration several times. At the same time, we have not get any any reply. Minhaj Ahmed Issa, one of the elders of the chairman of Garissa Market, narrates the mystery surrounding the highway interjunction and how several lives have been lost. I 
سوقاً حولها وحا كجرت الدبات هذه هذه وين كوسو كوي ما تيجت كان حقيسة جيري أنا قارت ما أنت نحدين وين بيجوت هاي أما حسوس وين بيجوت هاي سؤال هذه جيلن هالسين محايا لو واحد عن المامنة يبغى نقص وقع هيا مركا وحبنا أنا لقى قبنيني وحبنا أنا لقى قبر دولة دعين وحبك قبنيني وح مضح وسو قرمنا يسو وحك قبنا يسعين اللهين تاسو جيري ده نقص يسعته مركا نتراهن كوشة بو ماشن سوق حالها جكشن كلير هذا وحاسكوبي ما تأفر جد الجد كل بدي يصير نعبو عروتي مالين والبو ويلا يسا ويد ما نيسا وحين كل ما نيسا جد كن دحديس هدي بودا بودا تاي هدو جاري هاي هدي محنق ولا هاي نجاري سكود هذا النقطة مالين والبو عروتي كو جاري كو هذا النقطة جاري أسقى وذا يكوس كسعودة يا بوك تي وتو مالين والبو ما شاء الله عروتنا هيا even though there's no official figures, the number of the lives lost contradict with that of the members of the public. Many pedestrians and motorists who use the highway every day can empathize with how frustrating this junction can be. But few people like Rahim Muhammad, who is among the motorists operating along the highway, know the real reason behind its tainted nickname. There's a problem with vehicles that are over-speeding. Every truck is on the road. Taxi is on the road. There are road signs. This is the university way to go to the university. This is the open school of the Farouk Primary School. There are teachers in the Japan. There are university of Islamic Green Site. So this is Nebgas and Secondary School. Boista Primary School. All these are the ones that are going to be here. There's no any road sign. So we ask the government to do anything. They can do work of arms or to repair road signs yeah, to protect the children of this, the future nation of this country. Yeah? Garissa Market Junction is not a strange name for the resident of Garissa town. This is the junction that has proved to the deadliest and the bloodiest black spot in Garissa. The junction has claimed a large number of innocent motorists as well as pedestrians due to the frequent road accidents. In our pursuit to look for answers from the county government officials, we have met Mr. Abdul Hakim Sheikh Waib, who is in charge of roads and public works. Despite the junction falls under the mandates of the national government, from their end, he said the county government have invested a lot in 2013 recapitating the highway, establishing various pumps but sent the ball rolling, blaming the road authorities for the lack of bumps and other road signs along the highway. It's very unfortunate, it's regrettable, uh, but as you know, we are one of the stakeholders, but uh, the said junction falls under A3 road, which is mainly under the management of the mandate of Kenya, which is a national government function. Nevertheless, as you know, the county government has, uh, uh, has a close working cooperation with Kenya. And uh, in 2013, I think you remember, Koro, the county government invested in this A3 road, despite being uh, not our function. Eh? But it's the main, the main lifeline of Gariza County. Not only Gariza, but even beyond. We, this road serves uh, the rest of the counties like Wajia County and even Mandera by extension and even Somalia because it extends beyond the border uh, hence an A3 road uh, we managed to tarmac the same road it was uh, depleted by them and uh, the only funds that were available could do only for three kilometers by then we have managed to put the road into a standard uh, uh, condition put some pumps at strategic places, mainly uh, at the CPD centers. As you know, we cannot just go in, just go in one morning and uh, fix the road. Uh, definitely, it falls under the mandate of another stakeholder, but ours is to supervise and work closely with them. Uh, we will do all, it, all, 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 we, all we can 
to ensure the roads is fixed, the pumps are erected, and all road signs are impossible, and even request the traffic department through the traffic commander here in Gariza at least to station permanent uh, traffic police officers in that junction. At least they are doing very well in the other part of the town, but as you know, uh, this is now uh, uh, turning to be a death junction, as I said earlier, and we will not sit back and watch our people die on a daily basis. The National Transport and Safety Authority Regional Office based in Garissa, despite undertaking several awareness programs and training for border border and PSV vehicles. They say they are also putting measures for revoking licenses for companies whose vehicles are involved in accidents, something that didn't help to avert the situation. Mohamed Omar, who is a regional NTSA manager based in Garissa, say the road authorities are to be blamed for failure to erect clear signposts and pumps at the junction, despite writing to the authorities several times Nothing has been done about it over the years, saying the buck stop at the... Our roads are congested and that is what is uh, causing uh, the accidents around town, but, and, and also the reckless driving. The reckless driving, you might find, uh, uh, in the case of Border Border, you might find somebody riding a motorcycle and he, does, he doesn't have the license. We've done a lot of sensitization meetings with the border borders, with the circles, with the Matatu operators. And, uh, and, and the motorists around town, uh, in the sense that uh, uh, we need to uh, educate them on uh, issues of road safety. We need to educate them on, 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 on issues of licensing. In our effort to get a clear comment from the National Road Authority, Garissa's Ken House Office, but no fraud despite writing to them while at time visiting their locked offices. While the two institutions, the National Transport and Safety Authority and the county government, calling the National Highway Authority to admit blame to, for failure to erect clear road bumps. The blame game continues. Whenever an accident occurs at the junction, people speak, cars call for action and then go meet and wait for another accident to happen. As the days goes by, lives continue being lost at the displays. At the county police station, parts of the wreckage from the accident, border borders, bicycles and vehicles have taken up the space of the compound. Despite members of the public staging several demonstrations previously of a lack of road pumps and other road signs, and along the highway for them, the harsh reality continues to unfold before their eyes. As they witness their children and sword breadwinners, losing their lives as a result of poor safety measures. For now, this is just a challenge for all to see. If the concerned road authorities will ever hear the devastating voice from the public, or just move on with a famous Swahili saying, Ajali Haina Kinga, at the expense of taxpayers' money, this is a question of wait and see.